Hello student, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about what is electric generator. Okay, so this is how here the setup shown the principle of electric generator. Okay, so based on the phenomena of based on the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction that we have uh, discussed in previous class electromagnetic induction the experiment studied above can generate induced current which is usually very small the experiments which we have discussed till far induced current which is very small okay so the principle is also the same principle of electromagnetic induction is also employed to produce large amount of current used in homes and industries so in an electric generator the mechanical energy is used to produce to rotate a conductor in a magnetic field to produce electricity so uh, let me tell you how electric generator works so this is a rectangular coil ABCD uh, placed between the two poles of a permanent magnet so and there are two rings R1 and R2 the inner side of these rings are being insulated so the R1 and R2 are rings insulated ok and the two conducting stationary brushes here the B1 and B2 ok the B1 and B2 are kept pressed separately on the rings R1 and R2 so B1 and B2 are two brushes okay so the axle may be mechanically rotated from outside to rotate the coil inside the magnetic field so uh, let, uh, let us discuss now what happens when this coil rotates so when the axle attached to the ring is rotated such that the arms AB moves upwards and in the magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet okay so that we have discussed in electric motor students so let us say the coil ABCD is rotate clockwise in this direction in the arrangement by applying Fleming's right hand rule okay the induced current the induced current are set up in these arms Okay, if they are uh, rotating and there is a magnetic field, so uh, due to the electromagnetic induction uh, phenomenon, there is induced current in these arms AB and CD is induced arms. Okay, so if there are large number of turns in the coil, the current generated in each turns add up to give a large uh, current through the coil. So this means that the current in the external flows from B2 to B1 from means brush B2 to brush B1. So other half in the other half of a rotation now the arm CD starts moving up. So it is now anti-clockwise. Okay. Now the current induces from brush B1 to B2. So such a current 
such a current which changes direction which changes direction after equal intervals of time is called alternating current that we used in our homes alternating currents okay and this is de this device is called as ac generator okay students so to get up a direct current a split ring commutator must be used okay so this is how we get the alternating current and to get the direct dc current means the direct current so a commutator is used to move the motor regularly okay so this is how we get the dc current so students now we have discussed about electric generator so i hope that you are pretty clear about how electric generator works and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there and enjoy the lecture of scholars learning thank you happy learning